Behind us is the Ford Fiesta. It's a small car that you really do want, especially in this Vinale edition. It is so luxurious. I mean, it is around £23,000, but... Yeah, it, do, it does start from £13,400. So you can get a small car for a decent price, but if you do want that refinement, this is certainly the model we'd look at, and you can also get it in manuals and automatics too. Yeah, I've just been driving it, in fact, and it, the automatic's very impressive. You take a look at the practicality of the function. I do. And then we'll give you our verdict on whether or not this is the car for you. The first thing you'll notice about the new Fiesta is it's very luxurious. They've ditched those soft touch plastics and put leather pretty much everywhere. You've got a stitched leather dash, you've got leather seats, and you've got this leather armrest too. And there's lots of gloss as well to um, make it give it that executive feel as well, but it still feels rather sporty too. Tech wise, well, this car's pretty loaded to be honest. It's got adaptive cruise control, it's got some very, very clever parking systems too. It's got all around electric windows, power folding mirrors. They've really gone to town with this car. You've got a 10 speaker system and that's B&O as well. So you get very, very premium sound. It, it's quite amazing to think what's in a Fiesta now. You get adaptive cruise control, you get collision detection, you get pedestrian detection, you get lane keep assist. So this car has got most of the things that you would find in more premium German brands and certainly the higher level of Ford cars too. So it's good to see that safety is a priority on Ford's list, especially for the smaller car. Now I'm six foot three and I've got an ample amount of headroom. I mean, this panorama sunroof does eat into it a bit, but unless you're pretty much a giant, it's not going to affect you. I've got lots of leg room as well. There's lots of adjustment in the seat as well. They're not electric. That would have been nice to see, especially on the Vignale edition. But there is adjustment in the steering wheel with height and reach. Now, the first thing you'll notice about the storage on the Fiesta is it's very cleverly designed. It's quite thin near the speakers, but it's recessed at the back so you can get a bottle of water in there, which is very cool. You've also got a little change pocket in the centre. And you've got an armrest that lifts up and gives you another little storage area. And beneath that, there's quite a cavernous hole for a Fiesta, to be honest. There's also a USB in there as well. You've got climate control. There's another USB up near the gearbox too. Stepping into the rear of the car is nice and easy. Now the seat's set up for me at six foot three. So if you're six foot, there would be a little more room here. I do have enough re knee room thanks to the recess in the back of the seat and it's very comfortable because it's all leather. Headroom is pretty good too. And if I lean back, I do touch it ever so slightly, but the likelihood is that the driver will pull the seat forward a bit more. So you do have a bit more leg room. Now you'll get two adults in here, three children, but not three adults, but you kind of expect it. It's a Fiesta. There's no armrest, but you do have this sunroof, which is pretty cool. And you've got the light back here as well. It would have been nice to see some aircon here, maybe a USB port too. There is a little change port. You've got electric windows and you've got hard plastics, but there is a leather insert here. It would have been nice to have soft touch plastics on this door, but it's, it's function over style, it, it, you know, it's robust and the seats are extremely comfortable here. I really do love the interior. And you've got your ISOFIX points. You've also got the speakers in the door so you can hear that great sound from the B&O system. And you've got little pockets on the back of the seats for things like books. And don't worry, you've got a bit of storage in your door pocket too. You can fit a bottle of water and a small bag of sweets or nuts. So what's the new Ford Fiesta like to drive? Well, you have a one litre EcoBoost engine just like what was in the previous generation. However, the model we have here is connected to an automatic gearbox and it is very, very smooth. It produces more than enough power for a car this size. And even when you want to engage in some more spirited driving, it's more than capable of doing so. You wouldn't have a problem taking this on a motorway. When it comes to the handling, the 
steering is very agile. It goes exactly where you want it to. I guess the main thing about this car is it's just that much more refined than the previous one. Well, I was gonna say, my question is, how does this compare to your Fiesta? Because well, I mean, what marks yours? Mine is, well, it's the previous generation to this car. Right. And it, it, you can see where the improvements have been made, especially in the interior. The steering is just as, because of course the previous generation was always praised for how good the steering was, how mm. well it handled, and this is no exception. Now one thing I'd like to see in this is the return of the handles. There appears to be no interior handles. Yeah, Rib, that was a gripe you had on the last car, Rib. Well, yeah, especially on this hill climb route. Yes. I could do with it. I'm using the door handles instead. <laughs> However, everything else interior-wise It's is... very comfortable, isn't it? It's far more comfortable than the earlier generation, isn't it? it it's in line with the competition now. It is. Because the previous generation was getting a touch outdated with the very, you know, the small infotainment screen, but this is right up there. Yes. You know, you've got your sat nav and you've got DAB radio, you've got all the things you need. Yeah. In this top spec model, you also even get things like Park Pilot and that sort of thing. How's it handle? I mean, as you can see, we're going around some pretty steep corners, so this will really be testing that. <laughs> The Fiesta. Yeah, Rib, it, it's definitely an experience. You've got a hairpin coming up. It handles very, very well. The steering's very direct. The, there's no roll. It's it's brilliant, really. It's, you can see why this is, you know, the class leader in the small cars. Well, as you know, I used to have Mark II Fiestas, and they were always exceptionally good at handling too. I think the funny part is every single person in this car has owned has had a Fiesta at some point, yeah. I think, or driven one. Yeah, driven one, yeah. It, it's, quite, it's quite mad, really, and to see that the, the, the brand is still continuing and it's as strong as ever. Exactly. When it comes to the suspension, I think it's set up very well. It's, it's not too hard, it's not too soft, it just, it, it grips the road, well, like a Fiesta, doesn't it? I think it's firm enough so that you don't have roll and it handles very well. Yeah but it's soft enough so the car is very comfortable when doing city driving and yeah. just coping with Britain's rather neglected roads. Yeah. The paddles on the gearbox just makes it so that you can change down. Whoa! And like, that is a very steep incline. Oh yeah, this car's handling exceptionally well. This is realistically like driving up the hard knot pass in the Lake District. Exactly, and this one litre engine just ha produces an unreal amount of power for the size of the engine. It does, That's and we're certainly testing it on this hill route. And of course, it being the one litre eco boost, you'll definitely get the economy as well. Yeah, exactly. It's got very good brakes as well. If you've noticed, it's, it's handling exceptionally well. I'm uh, very impressed with this gearbox. Good, 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 good. Um, it's definitely not what you'd expect from a car of this size. You'd expect it to be very juddery, very slow, but it's actually very refined. I'm very impressed with the car overall. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most interesting review we've ever done! Shall we go around again? No. no. <laughs> So what's our verdict of the Ford Fiesta? Well, I'm very impressed. It's very comfortable. It looks pretty cool as well. And with the um, panorama sunroof as well, it's quite light and airy. I think the main message is it's just that bit more refined than the previous generation. It's, you know, it's really up there with the competition. Well, it's very, very comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable it is. And that B&O sound system. And the adaptive cruise control. Now, it is worth mentioning this model is almost 23,000 pounds. But you can pick one up for 13, well, 13,400, which is a pretty good price for a small car. And if we're not mistaken, it is Britain's best selling small car as well, isn't it? Yes, now subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see the full review of this car at some point. 